Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless you. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The video I am making, um, I will show you a video, but... I want to I want to talk about this. Uh, a woman recently lost her life. I, I I saw that I think it was on Sunday that I I, I saw it on news. Uh, but then as at that time it wasn't clear who it was and uh, it came through opera. You know opera news sometimes you don't know actually what is true and what is wrong. So but uh, now there are some verifiable information. The woman lost her life while chasing her husband who she was told was with another woman. Now, it is, no, it is not a gossip anymore. It is true from the information that I have heard. But then, it is not a news anymore. But the sad thing is that this woman lost her life. The name of the woman is Claret. And, you know, why I'm doing this video is that I, I really want people to have understanding about this whole thing. Listen, I know how it can hurt. I know how it can, uh, how heartbreaking, how devastating it can be if you are sincere to your partner and your partner is cheating on you. It is very, 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 very heartbreaking. And even sometimes, you know, people who cheat find it difficult to accept it when their partner cheats. So you can understand. And sometimes there is the funny one. When you hear a side chick even saying that the husband, a man, is cheating on her with his wife. How can you put that together? You know, because she expects more attention from the man than the wife. And at the end of the day, you find out that it is fake love. The, the woman at home will always, you know, care more for the husband than is for the real wife. Now, the sad news had it that Claret and her husband started dating while they were in the university, you know, days. And eventually, the uh, the dating, whatever you call it, um, you know, snowboard into marriage, and they got married. Look at the pictures here, at the picture of the man and the woman. And uh, would you believe it? She was a lawyer. Now, I i am so sad about this. See, there was a decision I took very early in life that I will be the last person that will fight because maybe I am in, in a relationship with somebody and that person decides to go the other way. Now, it, it is not me. It is not me. Now, people should learn that this kind of a thing, you know, leads to a sour end. In most cases, it doesn't lead to end. But there is a, a video I will show you also. You Then you understand that this thing happens. Now, what I will say is this. Was the man right to have cheated on the wife or to be cheating on the wife? Not at all. Now, but now that it has ended the way it has ended, it is so sad. What happened was that a friend of the woman was said to have cited the man and his side chi side chick in a, a shopping mall, and then she did a gossip. She called her friend, the wife of the man, the late Claret, and intimated her of the husband being cited with a woman at a shopping mall. And the woman carried that the claret, now the late claret, took one of her vehicles and her land that was a Toyota Highlander and started, you know, uh, coming to the place. Immediately, the husband cited her. He dragged the woman, the side chick, into his own vehicle and drove off. Now, the wife now started chasing after them. And so, and this was on the road. Now, while they were you know, doing this, the, the man veered off and entered the street. And because, you know, at, in a fit of anger, it is not even good for people to drive when they are angry. So I'm sure that the woman must be very angry and must have been on a very high speed as the, wife, as the husband veered off into a street herself, you know, with that speed also, probably was trying also to connect with them in order for them not to um, elude her. So that she wanted to show the man uh, that I saw you and probably beat up the side chick, being a lawyer, you know. But then she lost control and rammed her, her car 
into a tree. Now, you know, the sad part of it was that that was when the, you know, the devil of a husband now realized what he has done. Now, see, I I, I do hear this all, all of the time from women that men will always be men. Men will always be, you know, shit. And every man is a shit. I also hear men, you know, say the same thing of a woman that well, every woman is a shit. But it is not true. It is about individuals. It is about persons. All right. Now, recently I brought to you videos of women that are uh, that were in good relationship. The people that you know they were relating with the uh, you know fiancés. And for those of you that believe in boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah, this thing. Now. The, their male counterparts were up to the task, providing for them. One was in London and was, you know, sending money. And they had a very big boutique for the young girl that he was going to marry that same year. And as he returned, the lady wasn't aware that he, he came back. And he bought her a car even. And um, only for, you know, for the guy to discover that the little young woman was fraternizing with a sugar daddy whereas there is a boyfriend that was going to become a, a husband in few months time you know that was taking care of, of her so people shit but what i want to tell you is that it is not the best to have an open confrontation it doesn't lead to anything it doesn't it doesn't settle anything in most cases I, you know at most at most at most people will fight people will Quarrel and then you know one will be disgraced. Now, but the right thing, let me give you the, the the you know this advice. If you have a partner, I uploaded a video here from Reverend Christie Bature. Maybe I should play a little of that video for you. I can't tell you the blessings that came with obeying God, but let me say this and I will be done. Two things I want to say. Nobody should hear me today. If you have cheated on your spouse, don't hear me today and go home and demand that your spouse does like I did. Everybody will hear God for themselves. Mm. There are those that God will say, get out of that place, leave. And there are those who will say, stay. Please don't go and make it a law. And don't even develop any sense of entitlement. But if you have been cheated upon, there is grace. God said to me, living is judgment and justice. He said, but let me show you a higher way. There's something higher than justice. I said, what is that? He said, it's forgiveness. He said, forgive him, stay. I forgave and I stayed. But when my husband did not, he forgot the pain of what we went through. And I saw his eye looking again. I said, oh God, you see me? Don't you dare. He thought I was joking. I packed my things. I left. I left, you. Be looking at me, bye. I left. You will not put me through this nonsense again. Who are you to continue sinning and allow me to continue suffering? Claude, let me do my own. Can I find a boyfriend? Can I find a bobo? That thing they call the girl side chick. Can I find a side cockerel? <laughs> what do they call them? <laughs> Can heal adultery it's possible but there must be willingness on both parts of both parties to bring what it takes to the table forgiveness on the wronged one mm. and repentance on the sinner mm. now if you are living with um, a chronic cheating partner whether you are a man or a woman I'm not advocating for divorce but there is something you must do that woman Christy Bature said she forgave her husband but when it was very clean and clear that the husband was not repentant she moved out of the house she left now you understand that you must be very very clear if your partner i mean very very um uh, careful if your partner is cheating there is a tendency that the person he or she is cheating on you with can kill you so that they will take your they will take over your place so if you know what is good for you instead of chasing the man or chasing the woman in order to show them I can see you. I saw you 
and then ending up like this woman. And the next woman I will show you her video. Now the best thing is, if you have discussed it, if you have discussed it, you have forgiven, and you think that there is no, you know, uh, headway yet. Please, you need to be alive. Leave the place. Now that the woman is dead, was when the husband came to her, you know, to the scene of the accident, and was said to have apologized to the woman, you know, in death. He was the one that rushed the woman to the hospital, and the, the woman was pronounced dead in the hospital. And then he was pleading with the, in the woman. Now, the next thing that may happen, if his conscience is dead, is that he may go ahead to marry the same side chick for which this woman died this death. And if they have children, which, you know, I, 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 I do not know, if they have children, her children will end up calling another woman mommy. That is, even if she is um, a mother ma material. Because the thing is that when you die, this other person, you know, they move on. See, no matter how much he regrets it, eventually he will have another woman to service his bed. And then this other person is gone. So, brothers and sisters, I'm not just talking to women. I'm talking to everybody. Instead of losing your life, please, leave. You leave, L-E-A-V-E, -E, to be alive. So leave to live. Leave to live. I beg in the name of Jesus Christ. It, you know, it, it, can, it, it can be, eventually it can be settled. But instead of also dying like this white woman that I want to show you now, the best thing for you to do is leave. And now to more breaking news. Sky HD over the scene of a deadly accident in East Houston. Take a look at this. This happening in the 12,000 block of Wallaceville, which is near Seclusion Drive. Now, what family members are telling us of the woman killed is that they say this woman was following her husband who was in the car with an alleged mistress. At some point, the wife spun out of control and hit a third car. The wife died. One other person had to be taken to the hospital. Now, we do have a crew working to gather more information, but you can see uh, that a fire truck remains on that scene, although it looks as though the emergency vehicles, uh, such as ambulance vehicles, are gone. We will bring you more information on Eyewitness News at 6.30. Well, anyway, that is all I have for you. It is such a painful thing, such a disappointing thing, but it has happened, it has happened. Um, may we learn from this. Let men learn, let women learn. No matter how much that person outside, you know, profess to love you, the person in at home is more responsible for your happiness. I understand also that there are some partners that are demons. There are partners that are demons, but in this case, from what you have seen, this is not the case. And your partner being a demon is not a license for you to go into immoral relationship. Everything has a, you know, a formula of handling it. When you have handled it the right way, biblically and otherwise, then nobody will blame you. God will not blame you. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Let me know what you think about the video. It is a, on, it is a sad one, but it is what it is. Put down your comments in the comment section. Like the video and share the link. And may the good Lord preserve you and bless you in Jesus' name. Till I come your way again in the next video. I remain your brother in the Lord and from me to you. Shalom.